Phase one, does anybody remember this quest? It's the quest where you, well, defeat FaZe as many times as you can. And I had the random epiphany idea of uh, what score can we get if we used random ultimate cross pathing 555 towers? Because uh, uh, I feel like we've already cracked the code with normal boss runs like these. It's just simply uh, get the stuff that gets the most single target. But the defined meta here is, well, get lucky. So I'm going to be up all night seeing if we can get lucky enough to get a... I don't know what score I want to aim for, but I feel like 100's a cool number. 40 is what you need to beat the quest. Just for those who are out of loop on the how the random 5-5 five five towers works, because it's been a while since I last did it. Well, every time you drop a tower down or you upgrade it, it randomizes it to 20% above or below to make it balanced. The cost, I mean. So this could be anywhere from a 500 to $900 tower or something like that. First off, I need to get camo, because this is a, well, camo boss. Uh, this is camo, but it does one damage at a time. Very cool. Pun intended. Ooh, a farm. Uh, let me just play. You do make money. Five dollars per banana. Is that worth uh, not doing any damage to start off? Well, let's just see. If I get another tower that does camo damage, then I will take it. But as it stands, it's not looking to, It's not having a good start here. Uh, but as long as we get enough up money to upgrade, which is very cheap, then we can re-randomize. I don't like how this run is going so far, though. So I'm actually going to restart until I get a good early game. Otherwise, the first of this is going to be a pain. Now, you're probably wondering, why am I even doing phase? Like, isn't he the most annoying boss to try this out on? Because the camo, so, you know, it might be more exciting for other bosses. Well, my original idea for trying this challenge was to do it in a uh, boss rush. I'm going to play, by the way, because this 1-0 one, one dartling actually is good. As long as I have another tower to clear the other balloons, this thing can do one damage every uh, point, every time it shoots out, basically. Uh, I'll keep tack for now. No, no, no. Until I get a decamo option, then tack is not worth it. But you're... Anyway, as I was saying, why am I not trying this in Boss Rush? The game mode where you can play more than just phase as a boss? The answer to that is... My account is flagged. I'm playing my alt account here, which is exclusively used for, you know, mods. So that my main account doesn't get flagged, because it's happened to me a few times. I've had this question been asked uh, several times before, like, how do I not get flagged? Well, I, I do get flagged. I'm not immune. I don't have uh, content creator superpowers to, uh, you know, uh, not ever get banned or flagged. Although I do have superpowers to uh, get unflagged quickly, but uh, that's besides the point. If you are flagged, you cannot play in team events, such as contested territory and including boss rush, so uh, that's a rip. I don't want to risk my main account, so we're just doing phase. Plus, who says phase can't be fun, especially after the first kill? took long enough. Uh, we randomize this now. No camo. No camo. Still no camo. Frick. Now, I could choose to, like, sell the tower and rebuy for more camo, but I think it's more fun to play it, like, so far without selling. So we're just going to, uh, sadly, wait forever to get second kill. One damage at a time. Finally, a ninja. This is twice the amount as this. Although it shoots slower, so it's actually not that great. I'll take it, though. It's better than nothing. And now let us work on tower number three. Here's kill number three. Uh, this is camo, but one damage every one second. No. 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 Oh, great. Yes, this is it. This goes hard, fellas. Six damage per shot. Um, What should I do? Should I upgrade one of the weaker towers? Nah. I'll just buy another tower and hope it's camo. We got the cursed land towers on water, yes. Pineapple, no camo, no camo either, god damn it. 100's probably gonna be a stretch unless we got the most insane of early games. This may not be the only run, again, depending on how I like my score. I like this. This is 10, no, 5 damage every, uh, uh under a second. Who knows, maybe we got lucky and uh, things will start ramping up really quickly. You never know, because we do make, uh, how much is it right now? 1.2k per kill. It'll add up. Cal drops is good. In fact, low-key, this thing does more damage than this. Just because the cow drops. I'm actually gonna... No. Yes, get rid of it. Oh, perfect. 220. I'm glad I got rid of that. Wait, is there no wing monkey? Oh, I think knowledge is disabled in phase one. Like, let's just check here. Yeah, no monkey knowledge. Asshole. Well, uh... Do I ace micro here? Do, do I do the painful? Yes, I will. Just some light ones, though. Like, nothing too... Crazy. Just, like, reverse targeting, like... Right now, for example. And then maybe when FaZe is in the bottom left corner, I'll get rid of it, because then it'll start, like, missing a lot a lot. 
Oh, I'd love to get a D camera though, so that like some of these, like some of the non camera towers could be useful. Because if we get D camo, then at the very least our non camera towers will be half effectiveness, at least if I remember correctly. Uh, I got another ninja here. This one's not. Oh wait, no, no, we got it. Counter espionage. Couldn't have timed that any better. So as I was saying, like if I get like a say an insane attack shooter upgrade. Okay, we got two. This is a bit overkill, isn't it? Well, yes, it is overkill. Let's get rid of this one here. This one should be a uh, strong turn, so we make sure it lands there. Uh, come on, attack upgrade, please. Actually, I'll take discount, because it will it will work. And let's see. Uh, nope. Next. 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 Oh, there we go. 3, three one. So see, when it's uh, blue and red, we get like 20 damage off per shot on this attack. So, it's definitely worth the money. Uh, I'm just gonna keep building along the crater here. Gotta love the placement areas of Silver Springs. Uh, that's attack, but it's not good enough damage. Or at least skills off heavily. Do I take this? Yeah, it's like 4 damage per shot. No. Uh, I take this, though. Grapes again. Alpoff. I'm a keep. Hopefully this one, this tower we get next, will be good when outbuffed. Let's see. Oh, and it crashed. So this is a problem sometimes with the randomizer mods. I don't know, I guess we just kind of have to hope we go through a whole run without it crashing, although it's kind of considering if it happens in the early game. Uh, this is a good start. I can ace micro my way with this into getting some money and pops. So maybe having that run crashes is a blessing in disguise, but hopefully not a good run like this has started out so far. This randomizer here is actually pretty nice. We got a 201 farm, which has already made $300. Although, is that worth having no damage anymore? No camo. Oh my god, a radar scanner? It's a bit early, but I guess I'll take it. Uh, let's see. I'll take the druid, because it will do good damage once the radar jam disappears. Alright, I guess the early to mid of the last run end up cancelling out the bad early game, because this is pretty slow. I think I'm actually behind pace compared to last time. So maybe I'll start to pick up with some druids here. This is all very sus. We got two attacks now, though, both... Late shitters, unfortunately. Let's buy a new tower under Camo Village here. And see. Oh, another farm. I guess I'll take it. If you didn't, if you can tell, like, the $5 because of the $5 bananas, farms make a quarter of the cash. I don't know if 2k is good compared to damage I could have gotten with, like, maybe a $2,000 tower, but eh, I think I'll just keep it. Actually, I lied. I'm not going to keep it. It's it's using up too much valuable real estate. Uh, Is this good? All my towers right now are being a Raider Jam, so... Uh, not really, but... Uh, no, it is pretty good. If I'm looking at it here... Holy moly, that single target. Come on, I still need more, though. This is starting to get out of range, so... Goodbye. Uh, this is great, I'll keep it. What can we do here? Bomb race? Nah. Oh, this is too late to, to get. This is also no. I'll take this. Alright, once again, things are starting to pick up. Keep jumping on the Druid? Nah. Uh, no to this, too. And no to this. Nope. Nope. Uh, Merchant Man, you also get reduced by 75%. $50 after ending each round. But it'll keep you because you do Grape Shot damage. That is your only purpose. Damn, that Camo Village is putting in some heavy care work because I've yet to get a single D Camo Tower. I'm also kind of running out of space to put, like, Camo Towers. This is the last water spot that's under the village range. The future ones... I gotta hope our, uh, yeah. Don't crash, please. Thank you. Every time I see a mortar, I get PTSD. Um, this? No camo. No. No to Sexpert, yeah? Nah. Mauler. Yes. This is also out of range now, right? Yes, we'll get rid of you. Yeah, uh-oh. Okay. Airburst with camo. We take. I think I'll get rid of a what next? No, you know what? I'm gonna use a, a spot that's not in the camo village. Maybe I can get something good that's Camo Tower. Uh, nope. Actually, the Grape Shot wasn't terrible. And give it up for kill number 20. We're halfway towards beating the quest. I think it's a goal of 40. Well, I don't know if I'll be satisfied with just a score of 40, given that this is already uh, halfway, isn't it? I uh, think we can outpace come later on. Ice Shards is interesting also because, like, balloons can make it do damage, but it's not reliable enough. So, no. Uh, I can't take a farm, I'm sorry. They're not worth it in this quest. I'm not sure this is worth it either, but with it being smart spikes, it's shooting fast after every kill, I, t I take. Watch. The rapid spikes are, like, very much a meta thing in, like, boss rush. Let's start upgrading these ones that 
we're there for a while. Um, this one goes next. Oh, Cleansing Foam. Wait, I can't target though, though. No. Cleansing Foam usually allows you to target, but with the ultimate cross crossbody mod, yeah, it broke. Actually, I do see it getting decamo, so maybe the foam is working. It's like targeting uh, where it is. That'd be pretty cool if that was the case. Ah, oh, crap, this has no camo. Do I take it? If I'm looking at the damage, it's okay. So, sure. What's next we should get rid of? Well, how about the ninja? Oh, Mob Shredder. That's OP. Oh, I actually have to change targeting. No, no, Smart. Smart was wasted spikes. How about far? No. I think I just gotta do it on, like, normal and pray it, like, hope the spraying prey, prey works on it. There's also a spot here for Dark Monkey, aka Under the Village. I gotta use my Lem K. What am I doing? I got way too much money on hand. Let's go big on this one, then. I don't think Poplos is worth it. Nah. For that much money, we gotta get some better. Oh, we finally got a decamo. Or... No, no, I don't I won't take it. We already have other stuff. ODS is solid. I'll take it because it's under range of the camo. Even though it itself has no camo. And then this should be located on far, right? Far goes up there now, I believe. Actually, smart. It would also target there. We're up to... $13,000. I'll keep this for later on. Uh, let's get rid of this now. Four. Is never miss good? I think we can probably try some better. No ice, no. It might be? Oh, that's such a... That's so not worth it for that much money, but... YOLO. We keep. Because we have a discount, which I believe kind of works. This should also now be in close, because the... It'll land exactly on top of phase. Uh, uh, this actually only has 9,000 damage. Not worth it. Let's buy a new one. This one has an alpha buff, but probably not worth it. Oh, this has got to be good. With the fan club ability. Oh, if only had other, like, uh, what do you call it? Dart monkeys to uh, fan club. That would be nutty. We'll take center path on the ace here, too. And you know what? I don't think I need this cleansing foam. Because I already have, again, two camo villages. And let's go. Sharpshooter fan club to get to 40 kills. $30,000, by the way. So we gotta buy something good. Spike mines? I'll... No, no, no. No ultimate cross Oh, I'll take this. Again, smart spikes OP. Uh, What's next? God, I gotta pick something. This one. Once again, spend big. Frick it. We're going all the way. We got a perma spike. A 305. How much damage does that do? Again, with the smart spike attack speed. I think it's going up enough that... I'm a call worth. This do be a gong show right now. I know. Let's put a new tower over here. 40,000. I told you it would wrap up real quickly. Flavor trades. Sure, I'll take it. I can't spend my money fast enough. I can't. Uh, glue strike. Sure. Uh, I'll get rid of it though. Oh crap, we got called arms. Lovely. Let's get rid of this one now. And you know what? Let's go for a tier 5. No, no. Keep sticky bomb. Keep, keep sticky bomb. Let's get rid of Summon Phoenix and go for a 50k tower. And we got a Sky Shredder never miss. Oh my god. I told you guys, things get crazy with this mod real quick. So once I get... Why is Call Arms cooldown if it was so slow? Or maybe it was already, like, cooled off that, that much initially. But I think 100's absolutely in the realms. Unless we bug out. I just saw that I got an error code upon upgrading to Necromancer. So I will actually not upgrade this. Perhaps it'll crash if I do that. Uh, what else? What's the weakest tower here? Honestly, ODS. Let's buy another Sky Shredder. BMA, the one thing that does no damage. You know what? Oh my god, this thing is shooting so fast. If only it was in a better place. I think I'll leave these towers be then. And then just build towers on the bottom crater. This is where the big, the big stuff is going to be. I'm just very concerned here, though. Every tower I add... Adds the chance of things uh, crashing. You know what? I'm going to allow myself to sell some towers that are completely useless. So, you, 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 and... Uh, yeah, you don't... You barely do any damage anymore. And I'll get rid of this guy. We got so much money that I think we can... Pray we get a random Paragon. Let's see. Permaspike gets Bomb Blitz. Dark Champion with Sun Avatar. Uh, that DPS is decent. We'll keep ya. Up to 69 kills. Actually, what I'll do is this. Before I end up getting big towers, because that... That's your monkey eats up a lot of range. I'll drop two glues down, so... I'm guaranteed another tower here. 
I just gotta buy the most expensive thing. No mortar, no. I knew it. Damn, Vietnam flashback. So, as you can see, what happens with you, when you reload the game with random towers, it still randomizes your towers again. But, you know what? I'll see it through and see, uh, you know, just starting off from these random towers again. Can we get something good? If I get, if I end up getting, like, a, a mortar gun, I think I'm just gonna sell it. We're not gonna take any chances. We got two perma charges. Well, alright. Wait, does that even have camo? We don't have the monkey knowledge, by the way. Let's, let's see camo. So, that answers the question. Let's get rid of you. And, okay. Yeah, let's get rid of this. Ooh, ultra boost. This is G-Camo. I guess I'll ultra boost the... 455. Five. Let's also get rid of this thing. Or maybe I shouldn't have... Crap, we got two ultra boosts. Ooh, a 555 five, five, uh, sub. The only downside is I cannot... Uh, I repeat, I cannot submerge it. That's fine, though. This is probably going to hamper our efforts at getting uh, a score of 100, but we'll see if we can salvage this run. Haha, <laughs> get it, guys. I made a reference to my own series. Next tower, uh, Master Bomber. Sure thing. I don't know if I should be ultra boosting this special operations, because it doesn't. I don't think it affects Comanches, but it does affect the other towers, like the Apache. Oh, wait, it's not Apache Prime, so it's not worth it. I should be ultra boosting, I guess, this thing. Uh, or, alternatively, I go for another tower. Come on. Uh, at this point, no more farms. Uh, I'm not gonna take any chances. Maybe I should take my chances at a random Paragon at this point. Like, wait, this damage is really bad now that I'm looking at it. For that much money, I can do better than that. Uh, no. <laughs> Temple? Wait, doesn't Temple eat up my towers? Temple eats up my towers, right? Okay, I gotta sell it, because that would eat up so much with the range. I also don't think I ultra boosted the right thing. I did, luckily. But we got 165k again. We gotta go for, uh... Come on. Something similar to the power that I had before. Is this tech terror any good? Uh, looking at the damage, not really. Uh, come on. Oh, super mines, yes. This is it. If we can just get that off. We don't have the mulch shutter on it. But if we just get the attack speed, super mines should go crazy. Maybe I should have kept the Heli for the Chinook, but... And then I wouldn't have the money for this, so never mind about that. Uh, I'll build a new tower here. Once again, all you need is one... One tower, just to make this go ham. I would love to get a Chinook again, just to move it... Somewhere where it's... Going to be useful for the entirety of the game. Yujug is interesting, but... Uh, it doesn't bounce to walls at this height. Next. Uh, Darling, there's no risk, right? No. I'm not gonna lie, it's too scary, though, with these kind of targetable towers. So, uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and sell you and try again. Wait, we have 200k now. I gotta go for Paragon at this point. Come on. 30k. 16. Ooh, carpet. No crossbath, though, so no. 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 No to you. Oh, there's Chinook. All right, so let's move the, uh, what do you call it? This thing away, Sentry Champion. Wait, it's a spike factory. It's not gonna fit here. Never mind, never mind. I don't know what to do then. Let me just buy a new tower and spend my 300k somewhere. Even with all the, this extra cash, though, we will have done it. 100 kills coming up right now. My life is complete. All right, now, victory lap. Uh, nope, not trying the mortar again. Oh, I got another mortar. Come on. I can't keep doing this. Let's get rid of the boomerang here. Uh, Bez? No. Legend of the Night. 20215? Not worth it. How about 325? Is that better? Um, I don't know. I kind of want to get a Paragon. I think it's possible at some point to get a Paragon. No? Uh, we're slowly getting stronger legends, I guess. Silver lining. Well, I can't go any further than here then. All right. This damage pales in comparison to the 5 million that this back here has gotten. But soon it's going to run out of range. Maybe it's worth dropping, like, a village here, if I can randomize to it. Is there a time for that, even? Oh, there it is. Good call there. Uh, things are starting to exit now. This might be the end. Yep. Once you leak, phase dips forward, and that is the end, I think, right? Yep. 105. I'll take it. The mortars tried so hard to ruin our run, but I still had a good time in the end. Thanks for watching, and click here for more randomizer videos.